Hi guys, today's video I showed to uh, uh, put a new pull cord onto a, uh, a Kawasaki FJ180V recoil onto onto mower engines, whatever, whatever this engine's on, but on mowers most likely. All right. All I did was took the old one off because nothing wrong with it. But it's just basically as if this was a new one, and we put a new one on. It's a very similar design to like most of them does. They all they all the same design, to be honest though. Same principle to change now. But I'll go through with it now. So this is for the, the Kawasaki FJ one eighty V. It's the later style Mark II Kai engine. But it's the same basic principle to the, the square Mark One uh, FJ one eighty V. Alright? So like I said, I've stripped them down, basically just took this off. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'll show you if, if that's a new piece we started with now, this is the way I do it. Left hand thread, it talks in the centre, so turn that to the right to undo, make sure your dogs or poles, whatever you call them, don't fall out all apart. It stays in place anyway. So spin that out of there. I so said this is the way I do it, some people might have different ways, but I think the majority of people will do it this way. So we take that out, make sure your spring don't fall apart. Like I said, we're not doing the spring today, that's, we're just doing the, the rope. Watch they don't fall out, if they fall out, just put them back in. Simple to do. Alright, so the first thing I do, I tell you what, we'll warm it up, melt the ends down a bit. Just got a bit more of a point, and it done three terrible ends. So we get it nice and hot. Melt them a bit, then I go off. Push that through the hole. I tell you what, that's a small one. Must this is a bit thick for this. So look the other side. There we are. Change of plan. Push it through the hole first. There's that, there's not much tolerance in it at all. So go through there first. Alright. Do a knot in him. The knot I showed you. Pretty much just push out like that. That's not going away. If I got too much sticking out, I could have a knot further along and moved it along. Don't go too far back. In case the knot pulls. You want a little bit of a tail on it. Warm them up, obviously don't burn the rest away. Just stop them fraying. Just so want to pull our now down into his arm in there so he's snug. Snugger the better down in there. Go turn him so that he will go down pretty much out the way. There we are. I'll snug. No too much sticking out really. Anyway, so that's all. Put it back together. Line the spring up. The spring got to drop down to that notch there. Right? So just line that up there. Here we are. He's down in. Make sure that your poles or dogs, whatever you call them, are back inside there. You see all right? Put your cap on then. You've got to make sure that uh, you catch them like little legs. Turn this from side to side. There we are. And they're flicking out. So we know we're all right then. Put the screw back in. These gloves are rubbish, I'm falling apart. Put the screw back in, left hand thread, so opposite lefty loosey, this one's lefty tighty. What am I doing now? So opposite lefty tighty instead of lighty tighty. And this one. So that's alright. What we do now, we want to look for the hole now it was originally through. So we come round to this now and go through the hole. Alright. Could have put it through there first, to be honest though. Before I put it back in. All these little pliers, just grab him, push him through, and we're through. Make sure you go under that. There's like a piece across there. You want to go under there. 
right. I'll do a few reviews on, on this stuff. Anyway, put the cap back, yeah, handle back on now. There's different ways to do a knot on you. Different people do different ones. But pretty much just a double knot I'll show you now. Whichever way you look at it. Round, you can either go, um, which way do I do it? Round and, uh, and back through. So it's like a figure of eight thing. And then just snub them all up. Let's go further to the up there. Like I said, we don't want to waste too much. And allow this all tighten on itself in. I don't know how long then. I said, you don't want to make sure you leave enough tail. Well, I've done your hand enough. And then snug him up. That's not going away. Anything like that. But it's quite big and um, it won't pull through. So push that. It could, it could take a bit more off, to be honest, though. It's up to you how tight you want to get it. Take a bit more off. Do you remember if you did have any movement in that? Warming up. It's a nice little uh, light at this. You don't give too much flame. We're watching them burn the rest of it. That's all, so I'll snug up, push that down in there, well, pull it down in there, that's all right, I'm happy with that. Right, so that's down in there, and you might think, wait a minute, I haven't tightened up yet. Now let's see what comes into it now. Leave it all loose like this, pull it all through, you want to turn then the way that you're going to be pulling it. So when you're, when you're pulling it out, it's going um, anti-clockwise. From looking at the back of it like this. Just turn it twice. I tell you what, we go three times. It's a bit awkward to hold and, and let him off. Right, it still needs to go more. So we pull him out again, I see these little players are handy. Grab him. Bloody damage the cord where we do. Right, so we pulled it out and we turn them again. Like I said, some recoils have a little notch so the cord goes out the way. Brilliant, that is. It's still go these well, but they just like tighter. So just twirl the little thing round. I went twice in, so I'll hold it in there, take up the slack, let them off. I'll show you a mistake that people make, which you can break the spring. So, all right, you know, we've got a lot of pressure. I'd say I'm, I'm too wound up there. I might be one turn too much. So, pull out. I'm all right. I'm happy with that. All right. This is what I'm getting at. A good pull back. Good pull back. On all different angles, it's going to pull back in. All right. But when you're coming all the way out, this is what a common mistake, really common mistake. I'm pulling and pulling and pulling. If I if I felt that it didn't want to go, don't try to pull it too much because you wound the spring too much. You're on spring like it's no more move. Uh, there's no more movement for the spring. The spring can't go no more, and it'll, it'll tighten up and lock. If you keep pulling, you'll break the spring. You want to pull all the way, so you're on the rope. The rope won't go no more. Let the rope off a little bit, and you should have a bit more turn even after the. After where you, where, you, where you are, going past where you are, and you know your spring have still got movement in it. That's the best way. Always make sure that you've gone all the way and you're not on the spring. You've still got more movement after the spring. Right, there we are. That's the recoil done. Pull cord on a Kawasaki FJ180V. I hope I let you out. To be honest, there were a lot of the, the systems are the same. Like on there's a very similar to that. There we are then. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.